<clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's a pretty cool video. We are heading over to a museum um, to shoe some of the rarest horses in the world. Um, the Suffolk Punch horse. Uh, it's a draft horse, so it's a big, heavy horse, thick set, legs like tree trunks. Um, some people would actually say that they're more, uh, the rarer than the giant panda. Uh, we've got five to go and shoe, so um, if you like your gentle giants, if you like your heavy horses, check this video out. Yep, have fun. Clenching up the middle one. This will be the first three finished, uh, and then there's one more to come. So good system going on. We work our way along, not taking all four shoes off at one time because the horse is so big and so heavy. We tend to leave a, you know either a front on or, or, or a side of shoes on, um, just so they can stand on the side with the shoes rather than um, take them off and then let them stand on their big large frogs. 
So I don't think I've actually introduced Owen to the channel yet. This is Owen. Hi guys. Uh, he's our first apprentice. He's done his first block. Um, he's three months away from your second block. Yep. So that which will be the end of his first year. Um, he's getting on well. The first sort of stages that you do, you do a lot of the clenching up and the shoe pulling stages. Cleaning and preparing the feet. That's what Owen's doing at the moment. He's just finishing off the sho uh, shoeing job. He's doing the clenching, the polishing side of things. Um, we've also got Kendall. Kendall's not here with us today, but he started his pre fiery course. And that's one of the courses that you need to do in order to um, be allowed to start an apprentice with an, with an ATF or an approved training farrier, who is Lawrence. So he's our ATF. If anyone is looking to do uh, their pre fire or wants to become a farrier, then there is information on the website. I'll drop a link uh, in the description below for anyone that wants to find out a little bit more information on that. Um, we're also going to be running pre fire courses over at the Forge, so we do have that facility available. So all that information can be found on the website, so do head over there if you're interested. But I think there's some shoes need nailing on. Size 9 nails. Quite a big chunky nail, but we don't use big heavy shoes. We use um, quite thin, wide shoes. Less weight, not as heavy as the uh, standard sort of draft horse shoe. Um, Suffolk punches don't tend to have strong feet, especially these guys who stand a lot in the stalls, quite wet and damp English environments, so they have quite weak walls. So we don't tend to put too, shoes that are too heavy on them, keep them nice and lightweight. They don't do too much. They don't do a lot of road work, they don't wear these shoes out. Um, hence why we can get away with using a much lighter, lighter section. on the channel that are interested in uh, becoming a farrier but those that aren't and are interested in the blacksmith side of the job or this trade or this tradition um, we're also going to be putting on blacksmith taster days over at the forge so if anyone's interested in, in coming to one of them uh, learn the basics of blacksmithing uh, we've got the, the, the four coke forges uh, so we'll be putting on these days in the near future so if you are interested, just drop, just drop me a comment below. We'll get in touch and um, maybe get your email address. And when when, the, when these days do come up, we'll pop you over an email with all the information on. Uh, and keep you up to date that way.
Perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much. So this is Bowler. Bowler's all done. He's going out in this field now. I'm going to let Richard take him from here. Beautiful sky, yeah.